Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Dr. Matthew Hurt here again with Center Chiropractic in Bullsburg, Pennsylvania, just outside State College and Penn State University. And today I want to go through you, with you some thoracic, upper back, mid back, lumbar, low back, and pelvis adjustments and show you what the protocol is with those and what those look like. First, I want to introduce and thank my friend Greg Wright. Greg is a very gifted acupuncturist here in State College and he has a very uh, nurturing and healing presence and way of being. He's a fantastic listener, which I think is really important in a practitioner. And in my experience, he really gives 110% to the, the treatment and the care that he gives. So Thank thanks, you. Greg, for being here today. It's a pleasure. So these adjustments for almost everybody are really comfortable. They're very simple adjustments, and they are helpful for a wide variety of visceral and musculoskeletal complaints. These can help rib head pain or rib head misalignments, muscle spasm, certainly scoliosis or other uh, architectural oddities of the spine, things like reflux, uh, ulcers, allergies, asthma. As you get lower into the spine, into the lumbar spine, upper thoracics, the pelvis, they can address things like menstrual difficulties, other digestive issues, and of course things like low back pain and leg pain and sciatica and that, that whole gamut. So like all the adjustments in here, all the visits in here, it starts with a pretty simple chiropractic exam. Every time you come in your body is different, so we're going to re-examine you every time you come in. So this is correlated to your health history, to presenting complaints that you came in with in the past and what you're talking about on this particular visit. I'm correlating this to postural or muscle imbalances. I'm also looking for inflammation around the spine and then how those joints that seem to have swelling are moving, whether they're moving or not. It's just as easy to create nerve pressure as it is to alleviate it. So we really want to work to make sure that we're adjusting you in the right places here and nowhere that you don't need to be adjusted. So the inflammation assessment is done with this tool, which basically just picks up temperature differentials between the two prongs here. And just like when you stub your toe or slam your thumb in a drawer, that toe or that thumb swells up and gets hot, when you've got a joint out of place, you're going to have swelling around that joint because it's an injury. And for those of you who took chemistry in high school, what you probably remember is that when exciting things are happening biochemically or chemically in that test tube, you get an increase in heat along with that. So that's really one of the starting criteria here in addition to just my familiarity with your spine. I've adjusted Greg enough times now that I pretty much know where I'm looking for heat, but he just got back from an exciting hike, a month-long hike, John Muir Trail. So he's probably got a couple little spots here that are a little, are a little uh, more heated than last time I saw him. So once I've identified where that swelling is, I'm just gonna run my finger down the spine here. I'm looking for other signs of swelling, so probably hard to tell on the camera. Some people can feel there that my finger is dropping right into a little dimple. That's pitting edema around that joint. And so once we find that, then we're going to just double check and make sure which segment is the one that's not moving properly, whether it's that segment or the segment above. So once this part of the assessment is done, what we're going to do next is move you over to the bench to give you the adjustment. So we're going to put Greg, or you, on this bench here, which we call the high-low. I'm going to let you down nice and easy here. This is what I often joke is the free circus ride part of the visit. This is great for people who have a really acute low back and can't get up and down off a table. And once you're down and relaxed and comfortable, the next step for me is to count down to the vertebra we're working on, both so I can keep good records and also so I can check the x-ray to see which direction we misaligned. So we're on Greg's fifth thoracic vertebra here, one, two, three, four, five. So now I see the direction of misalignment, which gives me very specific information about how to correct this. And the next step here is really for me to contact this fifth thoracic vertebra, take a little bit of skin slack out. That way when I give him that little thrust to set the joint back, I move the vertebra and don't just slide the skin around. And then I'm gonna follow along with your breathing in this case, Greg's breathing, and as he exhales, I'm going to lean him with a little bit of upper body weight to take the slack out and give him a little thrust to set the vertebra back down there. So again, pretty simple, pretty easy. The low back and pelvic adjustments can also be done on this bench, on the high-low. A lot of times, biomechanically, it's better for you, and depending on kind of what your arrangement is in terms of your skeletal structure, to adjust you in a slightly different position on what's called the pelvic bench. So once we get Greg up off this table, which is pretty loud, so we're gonna skip that part, I'll show you what that looks like. So these lumbar and pelvis adjustments are done in what a lot of people affectionately call the pretzel position. 
It is sort of an odd position, but it's a position that we put you in very specifically because it allows us to give you the best adjustment biomechanically. Come up on your shoulder a little bit farther for me. Good. And the other important thing it does is it really allows the spinal muscles to relax. And that's important for two reasons. Number one, we're going to get a better adjustment. And number two, it's going to be more comfortable for you. If you're tight and fighting and resisting, it's not as comfortable as an adjustment. So once we've got you in this position, I'm going to get on the sacrum here, which is what we're adjusting with Greg. I'm going to double check to make sure that it's not moving, that we're in the right place. I'm going to double check the x-ray to make sure I know which way we're adjusting you. I'm going to roll you towards me a little bit more. I'm going to gently push up on the shoulder again to really get those spinal muscles to relax. I'm going to contact the sacrum here. And then I'm going to do two things at the same time. I'm going to gently drop against your leg to open that joint in the back a little bit so it's easier to move. And I'm going to very gently give you an adjustment through the sacrum with my hand. Good. You can just roll on your back there and stretch out. So the hardest thing about this adjustment for most people is trying to relax. In a lot of cases we've just met, you're laying on the edge of the table, I've got you rolled halfway over the floor. What I will tell you is I've got a six foot three, 385 pound firefighter I do this with on a regular basis and I've never dropped him. So that's the essence of the thoracic, lumbar, and pelvis adjustments. There are some variations, but this is what most people can expect with these. With an overview this general, it's hard to imagine you don't have some questions. So please post your questions below here. I'll be checking in frequently to address those for you. Or you can email me or call me for a free, no cost, no obligation consultation. Take your time, wander around the website, check out our blog, subscribe to the free email newsletter. And you can just call our friendly staff at 466-2000 to set up your first appointment. So whether you're in pain and trying to get out of it, or whether you're just trying to avoid it in the first place, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for your time and blessings to you and yours.